Hello everyone, it's Patrick here from pmbwebsolutions.com. This video now is just to show you our new plugin that we've created for OpenCart. Um, the plugin helps speed up your OpenCart and gives you a better performance from your website itself. What I've done here, I've got two fresh installations of OpenCart. I've got one of the older versions which is 1.5.64 and I've got the latest version which is 2.0.1.1. Um, I'm just going to use GT, GT metrics to get a um, the scores, the speed score and that from the current website. As I said, this is a fresh installation. The only difference I've made with this installation is I've already installed VQ mod. Um, if you need help installing VQ mod, please contact us and we'll help you how to do that. VQ mod is needed for the plugin that we've created. Right, so as I was just saying, it's a fresh installation. I'm just going to analyze the current website and get the current score before we install the plugin itself that we've created. Because once we've installed the plugin, you'll then retest the GT met metrics um, score and we'll see how the plugin itself made a difference to the performance of the website. As you can see, the current score for the latest version of OpenCart is D uh, for the page speed grade and the Y slow grade is C. Um, what I'm going to do here now is just show you how quickly and easy it is to install the plugin. You need to open a um, the FTP of your website and get to the root directory. You open up the, you download the files um, for after purchasing, and when you open it, you'll see these inside here. The main one you need to concern, you can use the README, and we also offer a free installation. So if you need a free installation, please contact us. Follow the instructions in there. Um, to install it, you click, op click open the upload folder, and then you, what you basically do is drag and drop into the root directory. What's very important is if you already got a .ht access file, it's important to back up this because if you've got a customized one and um, you don't back up any cause any problems, it can easily be reverted back. If you don't have any issues with the, H um, the .ht access file, please contact us and we'll um, install it for you. So if you've already got one, just rename it, just change the name to something so when you do upload the new one, it doesn't uh, affect your old file if you need to revert back to it simple case of just dragging and dropping this content into the root directory. Once this has been dragged and dropped, that's the plugin installed. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to to get a new performance check from the GT metrics, go back to the home page, check the site again, do another check on it, and you'll see from this once it's um, finished analyzing it, it's changed the score from a D and a C to um, a more positive score which hopefully will be um, an A and an A again. As you can see it's made the performance a lot more better. We've got A and got A straight from that. As you can also see in the folder there is um, an additional folder with optional image optimizers. The, these are the optimized images for a new fresh installation of OpenCart um, and these can simply be dragged and dropped into the main directory. If you have edited any of the files and using any of the current files, it is recommended to back them up before you um, upload these new ones. But I'll just show you now from adding this extra file, once you've replaced the images, I'll do another check on, on the site here and get another performance check from it. And you'll see that the score will increase even more. At the moment it's 93. Um, with this files that have just been uploaded now, they should bring the score up even higher. So you just wait for them to finish uploading once they've uploaded. I'm going to do another check on this. This will then analyze the site again and then we'll get a better performance from the actual um, over uh, for the outcome again. After I finish this one, I'm just going to show you how it works on an older version of OpenCart because you do get good results on older versions as well and it is compatible. As you can see now, it's now moved up to 99 and it's all green. So we get to the older version now. This is a fresh installation. Go to the home of this and we're just going to analyze this website and see what kind of score we get from this. This is all done in real time. There's no trickery, there's no hidden things. These are the files that you, when you, once you purchase a plugin, you'll get to download and then you'll be able to upload to your site and you'll be able to make your site run a lot better. As you can see with the older ones, you've got a score of 35 and you've got an F and you've got a C. So what I'm going to do, as of before, you need um, VQ mod installed. We just get rid of the old ones here that we've just done from the other one. As again, FTP access you need. Um, I've not currently got VQ mod installed here, so 
I'll just get this installed. Just double check that this isn't in here already. Let me just get rid of that. Right, yep, so drag and drop VQ mod. Once the files have uploaded for the VQ mod, and then can install it by entering it into the URL forward slash in install. And that's VQ mod been installed. Now it's to install the plugin. So you, again, you open up the files from the correct um, download. This one's obviously version 1.15 plus. Open the upload folder. Again, you need to back up the .ht access file if you've already got one in use, just in case. Drag and drop the files into FTP. I, uh, as this case here now, um, I'm just going to override the one because it's just a fresh installation. But like I said, you should back up your .ht access file. I'm going to go back again on this one. You've got the optimized images as well. So you just drag and drop them to the contents if you're going to be using these optimized images. And remember, if you have using any of the images that you've currently edited, it could be worth backing them up just to make sure um, you've got backups of them if needed. Once they've finished uploading, I'm going to then run another check on the same installation and show you the new performance. As you can see at the moment, it's 35%, it's a score of F, and then you've got 75 and a score of C. Go to the home page, copy and paste the URL into the box, make sure that's finished uploading. Press go to analyze the site, and then you'll see once it's finished analyzing it, you'll get a better score. And then you can see the plugins work really well. Um, if you have any difficulties using this plugin or installing it, contact us for um, a free installation, and we'll install it for you. As you can see, we've got scores of A's again there now. If you've got any questions or problems, just give us a contact us, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you find this plugin useful, and if you do, please rate it five stars.